Hi everybody. This is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a simple data filter using Excel 2010. So first, let's look at a typical spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet here might be used by a fruit distributor. So we have stores in column A, then in B we have regions, in C we have the different types of fruits, followed by prices, numbers of units sold, and total value for each fruit. In this spreadsheet here, in fact, we have four different fruits. We have bananas, oranges, apples, and pears. We have four different regions, north, south, east, and west. And we also have six different uh, stores labeled here on the, in column A. Now, as I scroll down through these um, lines of data here, we can see we have quite a lot of data listed. In fact, we have over 50 lines of, of data for different fruits and different regions and different shops. And so, supposing I want to see just the data for bananas, or just the data for oranges, or just the data for the Western region, or just the data for the Super M store, how do I go about doing that? Well, Excel allows us to filter the data. We could copy and paste and create some new spreadsheets and so on, but it's much easier to learn how to use the filter, which is what we're going to do here. Now, the simplest way to use a filter is to filter one column. And let's supposing I want to see what the uh, different fruits are. So if I select column B, and in the data ribbon across the top over here, we can see in the center that there is a filter icon. And this enables us to uh, filter, enable filter for the selected cells. So if I click on that filter there, you can see straight away that uh, in the fruit cell, a little drop-down menu appears here on the bottom right-hand side of the cell. So this is what we need to start filtering. So if I click on that, up pops a menu here, and down at the bottom we have each of the items that are in this, the, the selected data range in here. So I've got apples, bananas, oranges, and pears listed, and we also have an option to select all. So if I unselect all, we can see all the little boxes are emptied out, and I want to see just the data for bananas. So I click on the bananas option here, and click OK. And straight away, Excel pulls out just the lines relating to bananas. We don't see any of the other data listed in there. We can also see that the little drop-down menu icon in the first, first cell here has changed um, the information that's on it. It's got a little filter symbol on it, which is telling me that my data are now filtered. Another clue that data filtered is that over here on the left-hand side where the row numbers are, you can see that the color has changed, and you can also see that there are some rows missing. And the rows that are missing are the non-bananas. These are the ones representing the apples and the pears um, and um, the oranges lines. These have been filtered out of my data here. I'm just looking at bananas. If I want to now go along and click on the filter icon here and say, just look at apples, I can select the apples box, unselect the bananas box, click OK, and I just see the data for apples. If I want to see apples, for example, combined with pears, apples is already selected, so I can select pears here, click OK, and I can see that my data appears for just apples and pears. If I want to see the remaining fruit, which is just oranges, I can unselect the apples and select the oranges option, click OK, and I just see my information for oranges. So that's a handy way for me to be able to sort the data in column C in this case. To return it to the full list, I can either choose to select all here, or there's an option here in the pull-down menu called Clear Filter from Fruit, which is the heading. So if I select that option there, it brings me back to where I was at the beginning with all fruits listed. To remove the filter, again, just select the column and click the filter icon. So that way we can, we can filter data in one column. Now, supposing we want to filter data in more than one column, how do we do that? Well, once again, it's quite straightforward. So I'm just going to put my uh, cursor here on the very first cell, a, uh, cell A1. It doesn't matter where you put it, because what I'm going to do now is I haven't selected any cells uh, or rows or lines or anything like that. I'm just going to click on the filter button. And this time you can see that not only has Excel put a little drop-down menu in the cell where I have the, 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 my, my um, cursor selected, it has also added drop-down menus here on all of the other columns in my data sheet. So as before, I can go to my fruit and select just a view on bananas and click OK. That's the same information as I've had before. I'm going to 
clear that selection now so as I get back to my original data. I can also now go to the other filters here and uh, for example if I wanted to just look up information for the north region once again select the down arrow unselect all click on north just to have that one there click OK and I can see all my data for the north region only everything else has been filtered out. Let me bring that back clear the filter option there and if I want to for example view a particular store so let's click the down arrow menu unselect all and let's say I want to look at the um, Minimart store click OK and I can get all the data for just the Minimart everything else has been filtered out so let me just bring that back to where it was in the beginning the last thing we might want to learn how to do in this video is um, selecting uh, filters in more than one column at a time so let me go back to the fruit menu here click the down arrow and I just want to see data for bananas and I want to click OK so you can see here I've got a lot of information here about bananas. Once again, everything else has been filtered out. You can see I also have a filter in the region column. So supposing I just want data for bananas in the northern region, unselect all, select north on its own, click OK, and you can see I have now filtered out all the fruits except bananas, and I have filtered out all the regions except north. And finally, I can extend this even further if I want to just look at one particular shop, for example. Let's say the down arrow here. I just want to see information for the shop called Shop Local. Select that on its own. Click OK. And we can see we now have finally four lines from the original uh, 50 plus or so lines, which have filtered out for bananas in the northern region uh, in the shop local area. If we want to return to the original data sheet, just clear the filter from each column one at a time and it will bring us back to our original data sheet here. So filtering data can become very, very handy and very, very useful to you to just extract information very, very quickly from a large spreadsheet like this one. Um, that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.